What's going on guys? Jordan, Slickback Sunday, and today we've got Bayside's limited edition matte paste. Jump right into it, packaging. So Bayside Grooming's limited matte paste is held within their standard jar. Nothing different as opposed to their, their clay or their unorthodox water-based pomade. Looking at the top logo, it's beautifully crafted and clean just all around. It's a classic pomade design, just straightforward. Top logo kind of tells us it's a matte paste, strong hold, gives us texture, and it's matte. Moving on to the side, we're given the ingredients, all clean, very positive forward ingredients. We have the main logo for Bayside Grooming, a little bit of a seal or an emblem of the limited release, and again, some descriptions of the matte paste. For usage, they're telling us it's best to use it both as a pre-styler and a post-styler, and we'll see how it works for both those applications. I would say the dark base color of the product and the green really pop forwards. However, being a limited edition product, I wish it was a little bit more different or unique compared to their original lineup of products. Opening up the jar, taking a look at the scent. Now I believe this is called their Mere or Meriwether scent. Ooh, it's very nice. It's kind of a cologne citrus scent. A little bit of kind of some tropical fruit notes. It's just very clean and perfect for the summer and I think that although they released it in Australian, I think Australian winter, or kind of their fall. It's a great summer scent for us in North America or above the equator, essentially. Now let's take a look at the scoop. Looking right at the jar, first things we see is this is kind of an off-white, very thick looking product. Scooping it out, again, is heavy but creamy. It's extremely thick and has a very high waxy presence to it. The resistance is pretty minimal and I would describe it as a true matte paste all around. There's tackiness, it's got an overall dry feeling, and it should provide us an incredible foundation to work off of. Now since this product has kind of been labeled as both a pre-styler and a post-styler, I've actually used this product in my hair today to give an example on how it works kind of before your bro or after your blow dry process. So here's a result of what it looks like just blow dried into clean hair. Experience with pre-styling is again, just like the scoop itself. It's extremely thick, a little bit tacky and can be a little bit intense for some people. My hair is quite fine, so I don't get aggressive tugging or pulling. However, if you did have longer hair, I could see this being a little bit more difficult to use. However, the end result is very good. It's matte, extremely textured, tons of control. It just worked very well as a pre-styler. However, the thickness and waxiness of the product could be an issue for people with longer hair. And that kind of gives us a good idea moving forward on how this would work. So, Let's go forward and apply it into our pre-styled hair. Now the reason why I did pre-style with it as well is I was having issues with overall endurance and that's where the brewer uh, kind of told me that working with it as a pre-styler just for some reason amplifies the endurance and I seem to have found that result and we'll kind of see how that works as well. Applying in this stuff takes hold instantly, right away to the point. With one extra scoop, the thickness and density of this product pretty much forces you to only use a small amount. This could be one of those products where, especially if you pre-style with it first, it could be a little overwhelming to apply. The stickiness and tackiness is very dense. It's, this has a high presence to it as opposed to some other paste that we've looked at. Going in with one scoop is essentially all I'm going to need today. And we'll give you 
the final result here before we talk about the overall performance of the product. So with essentially just one scoop in pre-styler and one scoop as a post-styler, we're left with a very extremely aggressive textured matte finish. I like the texture, it's complex throughout. It's not super PC in terms of coarseness, but it gives us lots of fine level detailed texture. Something that works perfect for a haircut that I'm kind of rocking right now. From there, I would say it's definitively matte, but it's not overly, um, it's not that disgusting matte that really dries out your hair. This stuff makes your hair feel pretty good. Uh, from there, the hold, it's tough to say if I would call this a strong hold um, at the moment. I would say it's that. We'll see kind of how it goes throughout the day and whether it remains at that level. Calling this a Stronghold product is interesting because the weight is a lot higher for this product. This isn't what I would call a lightweight product. This is something that's going to aggressively uh, put your hair where you need it versus something airy that kind of works with your hair. This is something that I would call something aggressive that's going to essentially force your hair into styles that you want, which can be good for certain applications, whether you have a style that you're growing out and you have some flyaways and stuff or some cowlicks that are difficult to control, or you just have weird cowlicks that you want to deal with day to day. I get little ones in my front that make my hair kind of push forward. I don't know, you just kind of work with it, but a product like this definitely allows you to manipulate that in a way, which is interesting. I think that's more to do with the thick waxy presence versus the overall uh, kind of tackiness of the product. It's the density of the product that allows you to do that. Uh, control, very good. Styling, extremely quick. Um, I would say if there were anything I would adjust in terms of performance, it would just be to make this a little bit more of a light, lighter product. Anyways, we're going to come back later in the day, see how this kind of worked throughout my daily activities. I think I basically just have to run some errands, might do a light workout, and then come back and see how it held up. So with that said, I'll be right back. So Bayside Groomings, Matt Paste. This is kind of the end result after running some errands. I did a light workout, nothing too crazy, went for a walk and then decided to do this video. Approximately four, four and a half hours since I first applied the hair. And let's take a look at the final result, a little bit more close up. Now, after going through what I would consider a more average day, nothing super strenuous, the endurance on this, just isn't up to par with what I would expect from a stronghold matte paste. This is something that if I didn't use it as a pre-styler, essentially after one or two hours, it would completely deflate and I'd have to apply some texture powder or some more product. Using it as a pre-styler did extend the endurance. However, like I said, product wasn't able to hold up from some walking around and a very light workout and just not something I'm going to reach towards. Now, with that said, the other aspects are very good. The scent is clean, refreshing, nice tropical notes set it apart from other citrus scents, and it has the nice cologne background to it. The scooping and the application are thick and waxy and like a true paste experience, providing an initial hold that is very strong, but lightens up more so into a medium hold. Now, one counter argument towards all of this is that the washout is very good considering the, um, the genre that this product is. Being a matte paste, they usually dry your hair out, kind of feel synthetic and the washout isn't that great. But this washes out with a nice easy clarifying shampoo and leaves my hair feeling very good. The ingredients list stand for themselves and kind of provide that aspect. So overall, it's not a product I would reach for, but speaking with other people I've talked to, the endurance may be just something with my hair type. It also could be that the product is just 
too heavy for my fine hair and it just starts to collapse upon itself. So those are things you need to consider. Anyways, if you do want to take a look at this, I have the link down below for Bayside products. They do have a nice matte clay as well as an unorthodox water-based pomade. Those products I have reviewed in the past and they are on my Instagram channel. There I have some older written reviews as well as some information on products that are coming up and keeps you up to date with what's happening on the channel. So if you haven't subscribed there, I do recommend you do that. I should have the link below for you to be able to simply find, click, and follow. With that said, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the like button and yeah, more videos to come. See ya.